Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 14 of Civilization 6 as Ramses II. In the last video I went to war with Congo because they are well ahead of me in science and in the space race. I haven't looked at the victory screen for a while actually. Uh, even Bolivar's ahead of me uh, right now in terms of the science victory. Um, but if we can take Congo, we'll have one heck of a head start over everybody else. Uh, we've got a nice strong army. Bolivar is higher than us, only just probably one or two more armies more than we do. Um, I'm now very, very riskily and carefully trying to get down to Spain. Because Spain is the only one who still likes me. Now, if I can get this great scientist down to Spain, I can get open borders and try and pop them for some tech and some culture which would be really useful right now uh, we do obviously have some units that we need to deal with that are coming in from congo however he's making some pretty poor attacks here so maybe i can get rid of him there's the coliseum done so let me just have a quick look what was going on there. So that was an attack from this modern AT core. I'm going to go ahead and take the um, volley. I can't attack on this turn, but I'm back up to full health. So that's kind of reduced things for him a little bit. Um, I could move a unit in here, potentially, next to the city. But if I do that, I'm going to take damage from the encampment. So I'd rather just sit here and snipe at it with the rocket artillery, if possible. Um, ideally, I would like another rocket artillery um, army. How much would one of those set me back if I wanted to buy one with good old-fashioned gold? Probably more than I've got, right? Uh, rocket artillery, 5,200 gold. Could I sell something to Spain? Because he still likes me. Do you want to be friends? Yes, he does. Do you want an embassy? Yes, he does. Um, do you want a research alliance for seven gold? Yes, he will. Um, can I sell you something for actual money? Um, would you like some sugar? Some amber? 20 gold a turn for 30 gold. For 30 turns. Um, would you give me all of your gold? Yes, you would. And then... Any amount of gold per turn? No, but he will give me 408 gold. Sure. I mean, at the end of the day, what else am I, uh, am I doing with those uh, extra surplus resources, right? Nothing. Um, let's go ahead and get the factory over here. We don't want to attack this because it's an anti-tank crew, and this is a tank, so that'll be very silly. But we're going to keep it back here just in case something does show up. I could try and move in with some of these other units... I am Buenos Aires' suzerain, so I can move into their territory. I just want, I want to leave some units back here. We can see they do have a, a machine gun army trying to move into Kamasi. So let's try and keep some units back just in case we do need to mount a counter defensive. In fact, I might even go over here with this tank uh, to deal with the machine gun that way. And we're going to move in with our own anti-tank crew. I've got another anti-tank crew coming out here, so we'll be able to put them together and at least get a core. Um, let's just go south. We're trying to sort of just <laughs> safely skip down the middle of the ocean. And, yeah, we're going to start moving this way. A bit of slow going. We don't have any roads over here. Now, Congo does have a giant death robot, which is a, a concept I'm not thrilled with. I don't have access to uranium, so that kind of... Diffs me on that one a little bit. Uh, yeah, it looks like they've got another anti-tank army garrisoned in there. Yerevan are probably going to hold their own against this machine gun army, so I'm not overly bothered about that. Simon Bolivar has won the World Games. Good for him. Unit trying to head in around the side here. We can deal with that. Not a problem. Now, I'd have to move in here to attack this guy. I'm just going to heal up, and he can keep coming in and sacrificing himself, you know, throwing himself against the walls. Let's leave you here for now. Um, 
Let's go over here and start getting into a position to annoy their units, right? Who's got a promotion? It's the rocket artillery. Plus 10 combat strength versus district defences. I mean, we've got to take it, right? Just because it'll... I know we're te technically losing a turn of attacks, but we'll do so much more damage by, by having that. It'll be quicker in the long run. Uh, we've got a unit over here that I, I can't actually reach for some reason. Can move in here with you. I can get this and move you there. Now, you should be able to hit him from there. There we go. He's now down another unit. Okay. And, yeah, we'll probably just keep this guy here. Actually, no, put him back where he was. But we will we will try and make that into a, a core as soon as we can. Um, we can put you down there, I suppose. Yeah, you stay there for now. You move back into the city. We are making another machine gun, so we'll have a core over here. You can't do anything on this turn, so you're going to skip. And you're going to carry on down here. Oh, there's a Congo naturalist down there. Um, and you were coming down here to do what? You were coming this way to deal with anything that might come up here. Now, they still have that giant death robot, as far as I'm aware. That's 647... It might be that they were attacking one of the city-states with it. They might have even lost it, to be honest. I haven't seen it. I was expecting them to march straight up to me with it and start knocking on my doors, but they haven't yet. They've got a settler up here, weirdly. Yerevan need to be careful. Uh, production towards this project. I mean, I'd like... I haven't even launched the Earth satellite yet, so I'd like some production towards i'm not actually not going to put multiple votes in there's no point um multiples of a chosen luxury again i have multiple sugar it's about all i do so we'll put a few votes in um i'd very much like to get all of the um diplo points please maybe thank you i mean it's unlikely anyone else is going to vote for me but I wonder how many people dumped all of their points to... St yeah, look. Oh, no, Silk. But I did get the victory victory points. Launch Mars Colony. I suppose that was very much all voted for by uh, Congo, was it? Yeah, because that's the one that Congo were working on. So they've gone l heavily into that. Not a big problem. Um, so let's go with our newly promoted um, rocket artillery. This should really start chipping the walls down now. Yeah, that was a good whack. Um, I mean, I could bring an army down to this side. And we can come down with the machine gun. They might try and sneak some units in this side. I'm just trying to find a way that we could... Um, you know, I'm just I'm trying to stay safe, basically. This tank would suffer a minor defeat against the machine gun, but we'll we'll keep you there for now. I still can't hit that unit without putting myself into a more precarious spot. He has healed back up again, but at least he's being sort of held back right now. Um, yeah, we're nearly down to Spain, so I'll be able to go pop, pop this guy soon. Yeah, I think you're just going to go on to fortify. And yeah, let uh yes. I, I almost moved that into the wrong spot, but I think we'll be okay. Let's cancel that move. They could still be attacked by the AT core, but that's fine, we can tank the damage. So you can stay there. This unit's gonna move in next to the city. It'll it'll be able to be bombarded by the city, but we can also move the machine gun army in here and hit it as well, I think. So let's fortify it with everybody else. Yeah, see that anti-tank crew keeps attacking me, but he's always going to take damage from it because he's, he's attacking against a ranged unit. Oh, here's the giant death robot. I knew he had one. Yeah, now that that hurt, but we so we need to, we need to do something about the giant death robot. That is our priority right now. 
do a tiny bit of damage with it against it with the um, infantry. We're going to back up with the machine gun. We need to try and bait it into coming towards us, really. How much damage would we do? Yeah, look, I mean, an infantry just absolutely gets destroyed by it. Um, even an anti-tank crew gets destroyed. I mean, what 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 do you do when even an infantry army can't can't deal with it? Um, sort of back up and bait him in towards coming towards the city. He's got three promotions on it now as well. That's heavy, that is. Um, we could potentially get some bombers soon. Suzerain to a lot of city-states. Any that we can take off Congo now might be worthwhile. Reduce the number of friends he's got and the money that he's got coming in. Yeah, I really can't do much about these guys. I see, I could go in here and attack, but then I'll be on that tile and I could be bombarded by the city and this thing, and I really don't want that to happen. And he's still got this machine gun army over here, and the machine gun army over here, actually, he's got two. That'd be a major defeat. That'd be a minor victory on this one. Let's go in and attack that one. Tanks are some of the relatively cheaper units that we have available. Don't really want to go around this way. We'll just get all you guys to fortify up. I'm, ju I'm just really worried about how much damage that... Oh, flipping heck, we've got an ironclad there now. I'm just really worried about how much damage that giant death robot is going to do. Because that's one heck of a unit to have to try and deal with. Right, so let's get in here. We're almost at Spain. We will have enough gold to buy a bomber. Right, he's moved in here and he's attacking the... Um, right. That wasn't my tank there that was lost. Looks like Yerevan's taken out the machine gun. Oh, not quite. Um, I could probably finish... Oh, look, let's take the promotion. Combat strength when defending against range attacks. That's what we want there. Now then, we've got to go all in on the giant death robot. Everything that I can hit it with does so little damage. Um, could you attack it? I mean, you could, but you'd be pretty much wasting your time. At the same time, he's bashing his head against this thing, so maybe that will help us. I can't really get any ranged... In fact, I can if I swap the... If I... Actually, let's move you there and move you in here. And then I can get a ranged attack in. I mean, it's not a huge amount of damage, but it is some. Let's get this cleared. Uh, we can move you here and... Oh, must be on a completed campus. Okay, well, we can get there. Another trade route plundered. Man, that giant death robot's going to make this really hard. But, I mean, his arm, he's down to 482 now. Hopefully he's not building more robots. Um, yeah, let's go on to the next turn. If he just keeps attacking this... Oh, no, he's moving away from the encampment. That was interesting. Okay, well, if he's not going to use the unit optimally, then he's basically just wasting turns. So, 
He might be... Yeah, it gives me a chance to get more units out to, to deal with things. This uh, city has literally just been founded, but it's in danger of flipping. So we've got... Um, We've got a machine gun core there. You can go over there and easily knock that unit out. Excellent. There's another error score. Yeah, it was my plan to move this unit around to the side of Mbanza Mbata, and I still kind of want to, but I'm a little bit nervous of doing that now. Um, Svenet has completed... Do I really want to get power plants here? I think we should go for more military units. Let's get another machine gun so we can make that one into an army. This one's going to fortify. Um, I really don't know right now where that um, giant death robot has gone. Right, we can pop you. The Cold War is not thawing. Um, do we want any of these things? 100% production towards all naval units. That's not needed. I think everything there is fine for now. We're still in a dark age, by the way. So that's not helping with things. Um, okay, letters... We can almost build another rocket artillery as well. So he's got modern armor down there. So he is still popping out units. What's he at now? 540. I should be able to buy a bomber. I'm not sure how effective they're going to be. But there's two error score. Our next Civic is going to be Space Race. On to the next turn. Yeah, here's the giant death robot again. He's actually doing what I wanted him to do, which is just keep trying to attack the encampment. That's fine. Oh, he's got two of them. That's not what I wanted. But this one's now very low. Yeah, two giant death ro one giant death robot is a pain, two giant death robots is a catastrophe. So we've lost a u unit there. Yeah, our district defences do hardly any damage to the giant death robots. I'm probably going to lose this machine gun, but there isn't really a lot else that I can do. There's nowhere else that I can really go. I can move you over here and try and get another shot in on the next turn. Um, yeah, you would just get instantly mushed if you tried to do anything. Um... Yeah, if we try and attack with these, because they have anti-air, so I can't even attack them with, with my bombers. So I really need to move my units in where I can. Um, you should probably start working on another rocket artillery i i know i shouldn't i shouldn't have bought that bomber really i should have saved up for another artillery army um what i can do is i can buy a single rocket artillery for now and at least on the next turn that can fire you'll take forever to get a rocket artillery so you go ahead and get a research lab and yeah, I just can't do much with the bomber. Can the bomber reach this unit? Yes, it can. And I'm safe there because he doesn't have any anti-air. 
If I can strike out all of the units that are behind me, that'll make life much easier for me. Look how... Look, what level of walls did this thing start with is ridiculous. Um, I think I can just take you straight out with my army there. Oh no, major victory, but somehow they're still alive. Machine gun core. I can move to here and you apparently can't ranged attack that target for some reason. Well, let's move there anyway. If he tries to attack me, he's going to go down, isn't he? Um, yeah, I think we're going to lose quite a lot of units here. I might be able to take this giant death robot out. You're just going to heal up. Yeah, I might be able to take one giant death robot out, but taking two out, I think, is is a little bit optimistic. He's still just attacking the, the thing. That's fine. Hopefully he attacks my anti-tank crew. No, he's backing off. Good. Did not realise that city was garrisoned. Okay, we have a lot of things to do here. The first thing we want to do is move away with you. Um... Let's move you here, and you can still shoot at this unit. And we did a ranged attack, so we don't initiate a counter-attack. We have a bomber. So we can go ahead, hopefully, and... Uh, no, not rebase. Air attack. We can get rid of you. Can't believe how heavily defended this is already. Okay, that's another unit down for them. They've got this Karassia trying to come in on the side. We can probably deal with that, but our focus right now is on the giant death robot that's standing up my door. It's getting lower. Yeah, I don't really want... Oh, you can hit the giant death robot as well, I think. Yeah, it's not a lot of damage, but it'll help. Yeah, I'm use I, I want to try and protect these guys if I can. Really wish I had a bit more gold coming in. Uh, you're not at your housing cap yet. You're not having problems with amenities yet. Uh, you could build a 10-turn tank. Let's go for that. Uh, have I got another shot with you? I don't have that promotion. I don't know why I had two shots with it. Or did I just forget to shoot the first time? This guy is so low, I'm tempted to not let him get away. But I know if I go in with my infantry, I'm probably just going to lose it. I can't get in with my machine gun into a position to shoot. I mean, this is a very defensible, defensible position for me, but it's a very defensible position for him too. And I haven't even got anything that is throwaway that I don't mind just running in as a sacrificial unit. So I think we might have to wait on that one. Yeah, we don't want to go into here. But we do want you to heal up. I don't really want to move forwards here because there is another giant death robot around. We know there is. I could potentially move forwards with the anti I mean, this this is still a risk, doing it this way, because the giant death robot could still come in and attack the machine gun. Oh, he's got another Karassia here as well. But I'm just hoping that if the death robot comes in, it attacks the anti-tank crew. 
that's the end of the turn though so i'm going to end the video there thanks a lot for watching i hope you are uh, have enjoyed this episode and i hope you continue to enjoy this series if you are please do consider leaving a like uh, and um subscribing if you haven't already to the channel i will see you on the next video until then goodbye for now